It is, it really yeah. is massive. And we yeah. are in the center. So it's the big day today. The sandblasting will be started by Martin when he arrives this morning. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Billy. What's occurring? <laughs> Question. <laughs> still dry lining. Yeah, we're still dry lining, yep. It's almost done. Yeah, we're coming to the end now. We've got a slight issue, though. Mm. We underestimated how much insulation we would need. Yeah. And we did all the measurements, yep. but we ended up using more in certain places than we first thought. So, this morning we've got to go and get some more insulation. Yeah, yeah. About four bags. We yeah. only probably need three, yeah, but we're going to yeah, get four yeah. anyway. Just in case, yeah. it's a bit of a drive, isn't it? And then um, next few days, it will be all finished. Yeah. So, yeah, it's exciting. Should we go shopping then, mate? Yeah, let's go. Come got on, let's card. go. I got my card. It works. <laughs> Always helps. Is that a 75, Sean? 75, yeah, I think you want that one. We need that one. We need another one. <laughs> um, up there is 100. Hmm. Hmm. We can always ask, aren't we? Yeah. That's different stuff altogether, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. No, not that one. Yeah, we'll go and ask, I think. Yeah, like he brought them out from behind last time. Yeah, he did, yeah. He did, yeah. They got plenty behind, I think. Yeah. Okay. We only need one more. Yeah, we only need one more. We yeah. got two 45s now. Yeah. He got, them, he got them off the pallet. And we need one more 75, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, he's gone to have a look. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> sure, it's quite a big warehouse, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. We should have it behind there. Yeah, they've got none in stock, no 75s in stock. So what we're going to do is, double we're going to double up with 45s. Yep, why not? It'll still be 90 mil of insulation, yeah. it's good enough. Probably. It's still overkill, I think. Tape, we've got to get tape as well. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got to get tape, yeah. We tape. I'm going to grab one of these and drag it.
We've done it, Sean. We have. We're 400 euros lighter, but we've got five bags of insulation. Yeah, we need it. Um, they didn't have any 70... Well, they had one 75, but obviously we could only get one. Yeah. So we got um, an extra couple... 45. 45s. Yeah, yeah, just double up. We'll still have 90 millimetres of insulation, insulation which yeah. is still a pretty substantial. Yeah. But we'll use as much 75 as we can on the rest of the exterior wall. Yeah, definitely on the exterior. Yeah. Okay. Um, one thing we've got to do is we've got to stuff the insulation in mm. behind those aircon units. Mm. A little bit tricky. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky, but we'll do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we better crack on then, shouldn't we? There you go, yeah. <laughs> I bet you can't wait until the insulation's all over and done with, Sean. <laughs> I really can't wait. <laughs> not too bad at the moment because it's not hot outside, but... I mean, it's, it's just very expensive. It's the only thing. And uh, it's tedious putting it in. Yeah. But we need it. Yeah, it's not just one layer. No. It's not sometimes two. Sometimes it's three layers. It is, depending on what we've got. <laughs> yeah. Not going to do the bottom panel just no, yet. No, we're still waiting for the plumber. Yeah. We'll come off there with our hot Come on, feed. Clive. Come back. Come, come back, see Clive, us. Clive, if you're watching, we're he, waiting on you. He can't put up with the abuse that we give him every day. <laughs> Same with Duncan. That's why he won't come back as we well. We drove them all away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get our sense of humour. We were only joking. Yeah, we didn't mean it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, really. We're on the last corner, Sean. Yep, final furlong. Final, final corner. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's exciting. It's been an epic build. Yeah. Not that we've finished. No, not yet. The but dry line inside of it's coming to an end. It is. It's fantastic to see. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start the hearth probably next week. Yeah. So um, we've got a lot of letters to put in the time capsule. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's got going, um, isn't it? But if anyone's concerned about the letter not arriving in time, we're going to do a second one yeah. and a third one and a fourth one. And we're going to scatter them throughout the entire building. Good idea. Yeah. I think yeah. every room that we do, we should do one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. We've got enough space, haven't we? Exactly, mate. A little capsule. We have. Yeah, looking forward to that. Me That'll too. Start adding character back into the room. It will do, This yeah. is all very well and good, necessary. Mm -hmm. You know, dry lining. But, uh, yeah, once you start putting the stone back in, period features, yeah, that's the difference in a project, it mate. It is, yep. Well, hello, Phil. Hello. How's it going, mate? Wonderful. I am now International Rescue. You are. Um... <laughs> So, let me step back. <laughs> this thing has a puddle of diesel below it. Um, obviously not Phil's fault, but it does need rectifying because uh, Diesel's expensive. it might float away on a river of diesel. Diesel's expensive. <laughs> oh, no, the environment. It's not the fact that diesel's expensive. No. It's the environment. Exactly, Phil. Right. Good save, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Phil's just here to find the leak. I think I found it. And um, there's also something else with a leak, Phil. I'm thinking ahead. It's a good idea, because it is a bit messy. <laughs> yeah, so I used it yesterday. Yeah. And I was like, mm, what's that smell? And then this was just dripping, and I think it was squirting out everywhere. 
Yep, it's uh, definitely coming from there, Phil. You're gonna have a mental breakdown, Phil. Over leaky machines that I've bought. Yeah, I think so. By the way, I've decided I'm uh, hanging up my tools. I'm done, I'm done. Please no longer phone me. Yeah. That's the end of our friendship, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my own today. No Sean, no Steve, no Duncan, nobody. I've got to finish off the rest of the plasterboarding in this corner up here. So let's crack on. Would you fancy a drink? Means you are so nicely. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> okay. Purely medicinal, though. Let's talk about this, Sean. Brilliant. So this is a world first three-in-one freezer, fridge, and ice maker in a portable suitcase design. So yeah. you can pull it about. It's got yeah. wheels. It's got a handle. So much technology in a little box, really, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's got a built-in battery. Yeah. Up to forty hours on a single charge. That'll be empty before 40 hours below. <laughs> <laughs> and it will make ice in 12 minutes. That's quicker than my freezer. <laughs> it is, seriously. So, um, yeah, open it up. Oh, you put a little gift in there for me. So this side is a fridge, this side is a freezer, or you can remove the centre and brilliant. you can have it as one freezer or one fridge. Impressive. And this can be used as a chopping board. <laughs> you yeah, got to say, <laughs> say nothing. So that just goes in there, Sean, like that. That's clever. And that's your storage. And these are full size bottles. They're they are full size like bottles, yeah. Nothing. Absolutely. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, grab a bottle. What, what do you fancy? Uh, feeling a little bit under the weather, so something medicinal. Something medicinal, okay. Would you so suggest? I've been chilling this bottle of whiskey. Ooh at seven degrees Celsius, which is the recommended oh yeah, just right. temperature for whiskey. Mm. Um, should we get the ice maker going? Definitely. Yeah? Right, okay. Shut this, yeah. So that's it, Sean. You pour the water in. And it does this in 12 minutes? 12 minutes. I'm gonna time it. Yeah, we'll time it. What would you like, big cubes or small cubes? Small, please. I'm okay, that's on big cubes. Okay. So now we'll it wait. should start making ice. In so we've just got to wait. Minutes. We've got to wait 12 minutes. Two minutes to go, Sean. And counting. So, Billy, tell me, what is it? What is it actually called? So this is called the EcoFlow Glass Glacier. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Um, what's pretty good about it as well is you can plug it into the solar panels up to 220 watt. That's good. And it's got a removable 300 watt battery. Okay. And you can also plug it into your car. So if you're travelling about. Oh, look at this. So that's our ice, Sean. Brilliant. 12 minutes later. Brilliant. That is well cool. <laughs> <laughs> what 
One lump or two, sir. Three, please. Three. I'll join you. Oh, the smell. Liquid gold. Right, cheers, Sean. Cheers, Billy. So, everyone, in the description, there is a link to Amazon and the EcoFlow website. There is also a 5% off coupon code. Brilliant. So, yeah, check it out. What an amazing product. And start, I don't know. Using it. Drinking and going camping. <laughs> cheers, everyone. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you to Sean for helping me out with that sponsored video and thank you to EcoFlow. What an amazing product. Quite shocked by how well it works and how handy it's gonna come in the future. Right, I was gonna mention something but I completely forgot. The hats, yes. The crack on hats are now, are now available on the website, thepethrix.com. There's only a limited amount though, so if you want one, pop over and yeah buy one and it will help the convent it will help us progress with the renovations um, yeah so something really interesting is gonna be tomorrow <laughs> gonna be it doesn't sound sound correct does it can't speak English it is our very first year here at the abandoned convent so yeah we've been here for exactly a year on the 29th how amazing is that We've done so much in that time, and yeah, we'll keep cracking on, getting more rooms renovated, producing more videos. Um, these weekly videos, I actually find them harder than the daily videos. Huh. So probably in about four weeks time, I might be back to doing daily videos. I don't know. I really want to though. Anyway, thanks for watching this video everyone, and I'll see you all next week.